In this video we're going to discuss briefly the customization of some of, of the attributes on the data entry panel. Um, if I have my current user level set to restricted or higher, I have the ability to go in and say I would like to have the displayed value of my attributes be different. And where that comes in handy is things like, for example, if I go to the user data section where we have four slots reserved for auxiliary user, user data, um, I'd like to be able to say, well, what am I expecting the user to put in there? So to prompt him, what I can do is I can say, really, uh, although under the covers it's called aux data one, this is going to be called um, um, circuit group, let's say. And you know that's something that internally means something to me as a user. And this will be called uh, um, you know common name and so on and so forth down the line. And so. I can adjust these values so that they make sense and they prompt me to put the right value in there. Now, that doesn't mean that these are the only ones I can change. If, for example, um, I don't want to call this just generic owner on this conductor, and I would like my users to be prompted to call it uh, um, uh, attacher, let's say that's my internal nomenclature for that thing, so I can adjust it. So. Basically, I can now set up the UI so that it presents to my users uh, exactly what the nomenclature that we use internally is for each of these items. The important thing to recognize is that if it's something that has units, you want to keep the convention of uh, open, close, braces, and then you know FT for feet, IN for inches, and that makes sure that the system automatically will convert it over to metric units when you switch from imperial to metric.